Praise be to Space Jeebus. Star Trek Discovery is done. It's cancelled. Season 5 will be the final season, so on a weekly basis you no longer need to uh, suffer through an STD. <clears throat> Why did they call it that? <laughs> Idiots. Anyway, uh, this is not a huge surprise to anyone who watched this show. This was an abysmal show. Awful. Truly, truly awful. I'm amazed it uh, kept going as long as it did, actually. Genuinely amazed. Uh, it, it was it was awful. I tried reviewing this for a little bit, and I, I genuinely couldn't stick it out. It was so bad. Uh, so bad, like, for, for many, many reasons. You know, the, the, the constant need to be the first, and yet they were never the first. The most progressive, and yet they were never the most progressive. All of that nonsense that came around. Just a travesty of a show, through and through. Utter travesty of a show. Um, and the lead as well. Oh my god, the statements that they make here are hilarious. You'll see it and you'll go, God. Yeah, genuinely still keeping up the uh, <clears throat> the front of uh, Captain Michael Burnham, the best of the best. She the bestest. Anyway, this is a report via Variety. <laughs> Star Trek Discovery, STD. Oh, this is an STD we can get rid of. Ha 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 ha. We'll end with the upcoming season 5 at Paramount+. Plus. Variety has learned. In addition, the fifth and final season will now debut in early 2024, as opposed to this year, as originally thought. Why? Why are you postponing it? So weird. Uh, filming is mostly complete on season 5, but according to an individual with knowledge of the situation, there will be some additional filming that has yet to take place. In addition, Paramount is planning to send the show off in style with uh, the, with events planned in certain key markets throughout the year leading up to the final season's release. Further details will be revealed at a later date. Just save your money. No one likes it. Save your money. What are you doing? Save your cash. This is not something to send off in style. You could send it off on a rocket ship into outer space so, you know, the cast, the crew, the writers and the producers, whoever, will jettison into the sun. That would be... That would be great. But any other thing? No, it's a waste of money. <clears throat> and uh, this is the lead actor who plays uh, Michael Burnham. Uh, I can hardly believe that this mind-blowing journey with an STD is ending. I'm astoundingly blessed by God to have played Captain Michael Burnham and to have taken part in a legacy alongside an extraordinary cast, phenomenal crew, a remarkable writing team. Just an FYI, Captain Michael Burnham is a woman. It's the one in the middle there. Because Michael's a woman's name now. If you didn't know. Oh, it's, it's 2023, isn't it? You, is it 2023? Yeah, it's 2023. You'd be whatever you like these days. <clears throat> I'm actually uh, a unicorn. Uh, to, our, to our most supportive partners at CBS Studios and Paramount Plus, who insisted on making television history. Did they insist, did they? I'm deeply grateful. I'm also deeply grateful for the creative collaboration with our showrunners, Michelle Paradis and Alex Kurtzman, as well as Olatund Osun Sanmi, and the incomparable team of executive producers. I will never forget how it felt to stand together as a show family, cradling the heirloom of Trek, with all those from the franchise at large and with the fans. The fans welcomed us into their hearts. No, they didn't as we launched a new iteration of Trek and an entire entertainment platform. That's right, Paramount, um, CBS All Access and things like that. Whatever it was that they launched is dead anyway. So they fucked up, didn't they? Let's be honest. Uh, and we'll never forget it. 65 episodes later, here's to the entire company of Star Trek Discovery, to the show and its fifth and final season, to its beloved fans, and to all those who envisage a better future. Let's fly. No. Unless it's into the sun. <clears throat> and then uh, Alex Kurtzman and Michelle Paradis commented some nonsense as well. As lifelong fans of Star Trek, it's been an immense honour and privilege to help bring Star Trek discovery to the world. The Trek universe means so much to so many, including us, and we couldn't be proud of everything Discovery has contributed to its legacy. Particularly with representation. That's right, ladies and gents. Star Trek was never good at representation before this. All right. Of course. Idiots. Always got to be the first. If just one person sees themselves or the possibilities of their future in a new way because of discovery, then we think we'd have made Gene Roddenberry very proud. 
Of course, there would be no discovery without Sonequa Martin-Green and the extraordinary team of artists, both in front of and behind the camera. Oh my god, it just continues. Who have brought this show to life. Their passion and determination to make everything, uh, make every episode special has been deeply inspiring. So too has their love and support for one another and their genuine love for Star Trek Discovery. has truly become a family over the years and we couldn't be more grateful to be part of it. Fuck no, it continues. To the fans all over the world, thank you for joining us on this incredible journey. Your love for these characters, your excitement for every episode, every season has meant the world to us. We can't wait for you to see what we've been working on. Uh, for the final season. No one cares. Literally, no one cares, but whatever. Uh, we appreciate your patience in the meantime. And trust us when we say it'll be worth the wait. We love you all. La lap. Live long and prosper. Anyway... There were some other dumb comments here and there and everywhere. Nothing that special. Um, but yeah, so interestingly, they're like, our oh, Discovery's been the flagship modern Star Trek series since it launched in 2017 at a time when Paramount Plus was still known as CBS All Access. The series kicked off the rebooted Star Trek TV universe and led to the successful spin-off uh, Strange New Worlds, which is currently prepping its second season. Oh, so successful. Oh, God, it's so bad. The show also chalked up a number of firsts for the franchise, including have a black female protagonist in Michael Burnham. It also prominently featured LGBTQIA+. God, when's that going to end? The, the uh, acronym. Uh, characters, in a way, not previously seen in a Star Trek show. What were they doing that we'd not seen before? Anyway, this is, this is utter... This is a garbage show. No one cares about this. This is crap. Absolute crap. Brian Fuller? Oh my god, Brian Fuller. Why did you work on this lump of shit? This is garbage. Awful. Real bad. Real, real bad. I hate this. This this sucks. <clears throat> oh, good that it's cancelled. It's a crap show. I like I could barely get through. I think I, did I did I watch a whole season? I tried. I can't remember. But it was it was god awful. Mind numbingly god awful. Uh, it was Midnight's Edge that made me watch it, just so they could get my reaction for the first time, uh, and I hated it so very much. Uh, and I hate them a little bit more uh, for doing that to me as well, a bit more dead inside. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, live long and prosper away from Star Trek Discovery. You no longer have to get a weekly STD. Cheers, guys. Take care.